do not make these travel mistakes the next time you fly. Over half the mistakes can be avoided if you take care of these tips before you leave your house. Number one, pay close attention to the email that you get. Download the airlines app and pay attention to the notifications that they give you the day before your flight and the day of your flight because you might get a free check bag. You might get to use curbside for free instead of having to pay for it. Number three, you will know if the flight is delayed. Before you even get a notification, you might know ahead of time that it's going to be delayed. Your airline is going to have an app, but also do not make the mistake of missing the airport app because that's going to have maps that you can look at, where to find Uber, where to find ground transportation or rental car, which is what I was looking for. Here's a travel tip. If you have a family member who's going to be flying on an airplane and they have severe um, slow mobility issues, or if they have PTSD, autism, um, dementia, or if they just have a broken leg, TSA has a free program called TSA Cares, and I'll put the link down below. You have to sign up for it like five days in advance, and a trained officer will go with that family member because they've been trained on how to um, help the person feel safer going through that, and usually you get your own lane. One helpful travel tip is something that you can do before you leave your house. You're going to look at your personal item bag, and you're going to think, what is the most easily accessible pocket that I can put my ID and my ticket in? in the airport security line and that way you're not stressed when you get there you already know which pocket it's all going to go in and the tip is when you get through airport security that's when you're going to then organize it and put everything in a secure location you're also going to pack your liquids bag and your electronics that are larger than a phone at the top of your bag so that those are also easily accessible because you're not wasting time and you're not going to be stressed by looking for those things underneath your other travel essentials. When you enter the airport, do not stand in the ticketing line if you don't need to. Usually now airlines have kiosks that you can check in with if you didn't the day before on your app or on your home computer. One mistake that airline passengers make is they get nervous before going through the airport security line. And one tip to help you is it does not mean that you're going to miss your flight. It just means you're going to be pulled out of the, the airport security line, maybe, if they need to look at that item more specifically. A lot of people are nervous about their medicines, so one tip is to make sure they're in your personal item bag because you don't want the airline to lose your bag and then you not have your essential medicine. While you're in line, you're going to be listening to the officers, but you're also going to be watching. And I still feel nervous, but just go through, you've done your best, you've prepared as much as you can ahead of time at home, and now you're going to go through the line doing what you have researched you're supposed to do, and you'll never see the people in line behind you again. So relax, because when you're stressed is when you forget something or you lose something. So have that pocket readily available and put everything in there and then organize it later. While you're in the TSA line, my tip is do not joke with them. Do not talk with them. You're supposed to inform them if you have any kind of like medical equipment or medicine that is larger than the 3.4 ounce containers as far as liquids go, but you're just supposed to inform them that you have um, insulin maybe. Um, and they 90% of the time will not need to see it, but they want to be informed of it. I do have a video about the packing rules for medicine in carry-on bags and check yeah, luggage. So be sure to check that one out. When you're deciding what to wear as your airport travel outfit, do not wear sequins, do not wear things that could make you get pulled out of line because the alarm went off. Like uh, sometimes a belt in regular airport security now um, can make the alarm go off. I have worn a hoodie and I have pre-check, a hoodie tied around my waist. That is a no, no bueno, not allowed. So take that off. Um, I had sequins on my pocket on Christmas Day. I should have known better. <laughs> and when you're standing in the airport security line, go ahead and unzip your boots or untie your shoes. Have them ready. If you're checking luggage, here are two things that absolutely cannot be packed in there. Number one, lithium batteries because they are combustible and they would rather those be in the cabin of the airplane. So cell phone chargers, any kind of battery part of a cord. The 
The cords do not make a difference. It's the battery charging part that needs to be with you inside the airplane cabin. And then, like I said earlier, number two, you're not going to put your essential medicines like because that luggage might get checked. Although the airlines are doing a really good job now of making sure that barcode is there so that they have their own tracking system. Another mistake that passengers make is they arrived at the airport way too late. You wanna give yourself time so that you're not stressed and so that you do not miss your flight. Airlines now board airplanes about 30 to 40 minutes before the flight takes off. So when if your flight's leaving at two o'clock, you need to be at the boarding area ready to board that plane at 1.30. That means you need to be inside the airport by 11.30 a.m. And that is because there could be not enough TSA officers that show up to work that day. That could mean that there are machines that are broken. There could be the lines could be super long because of a holiday or on that certain day of the week. But another tip is that the airline could have moved where the plane is parked at. So now you've gotten to that gate and now you've got to turn around and go to a completely different terminal to find the right gate. I don't want you to think that I'm patronizing you or making fun of any passenger as a pilot's wife. I have made tons of mistakes. The reason I say in all my videos that I'm a pilot wife is for several reasons and I get so many ugly comments about it. The main reason is so that people know that I travel a lot and therefore I make tons of mistakes like I'm talking about in this video. And another reason is that so that people will not forget, oh yeah, it's that gal who is married to a pilot. That's who told the travel tips, all right? Besides me making tons of mistakes, I have also had to pack an only carry-on suitcase for over 20 years. So I've learned a lot of tips and tricks so that's why i say that in every video and one of them i just learned after 20 years is that if you are traveling with your passport when you go through airport security you have to take it out of the little cute booklet so most of the time i don't even bring this even though they don't take up too much space but most of the time i don't even bring this so that's a tip for you and then one mistake that I avoid is after airport security, I take out two items and from my liquids bag and I put them in a little pouch for my flight. And that helps me just have a smoother flight, like hydration wise. I take out my little container of lotion and then I take out my eye drops because if you wash your hands one time in that airplane lavatory, your hands are like prickly. And I'm going to have a video of all my long flight tips in the first comment for you. If you do not have global entry, make sure you look for that video in the first comment. I'll link it for you. There are also some travel essentials that you need while you're sitting inside the airplane seat. So do not miss that video. At the end, you can just watch it up here or I'll have it in the first comment for you. You just click on those links with all of the other information as well as the TSA CARES link for you.